Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Weekly Contest 328, Increment Submatrixes by 1. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, give me some love, uh, and let me know what you think about this problem, and if you have any questions in the comments or Discord, wherever. Um, okay, so this one I thought was kind of hard. I think this entire contest was kind of hard, to be honest. Um, it took me about six minutes. I think you could have done it. I think there is a slightly easier way to do it, um, which happens in in um in c plus plus but i think in python may be too slow i didn't test it because i didn't want to waste time testing it and to be honest i i don't know i still don't know it may work but i'll go over the, uh the the one that i don't think will work first because um confirming with some people um it seems to work in c plus plus but i didn't do it that way but the idea here is just having a, a difference away um, and there's different ways you can set it up as a defend based thing, but basically you can think about each instead of looking at it as a n by n matrix, you can think about it as a as a um, uh, as a as a problem with n rows, right? Um, and that's pretty much the idea is that you have n problems each with n columns, say, right? And then for for each for each row, go through the the queries and just do a difference array, right? And what, I'm, what do I mean by difference array technique? Um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. Sometimes I do it with defense-based thing, like, you know, uh, parsing it. Uh, there's also a thing where um, basically you have, you have a, a sort of a, um, uh, you start with zero, 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 a lot of zeros, say, let me bang it out. Doo -doo -doo. And then here, for example, if you want to add if you want to add um, from say element five to element 10, well then you here, you add plus one here and then minus one here. Um, and and then you kind of keep on doing it. You're plus one here, maybe minus one here. Plus one here, maybe minus one here. So then now this goes to zero. Maybe this goes to two and then another minus one here, right? And you, so you do it for all the queries and then after all the queries are done, you can get the get the element on that thing by just running from left to right and then summing things, right? So this goes to zero, this is two, this is two, do, 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 until you see another one, and then negative one, negative one, zero, oh, I messed up on a negative one, but one, uh, zero, zero, right? And then this will be the array that you will return for the row. So that's basically, I mean, I'm, I'm going really fast and this is Q2, so maybe I should go for more details for my beginners, but that's basically the, the idea. Um, definitely, it comes up in a few places, though I feel Q2 is kind of hard for this one. Um, especially given the constraints where I think it may be a little bit too low for Python, but may, I, I've heard that it works for C++ for sure. I don't know if this works for Python. So if you're a Python user, let me know in the comments below whether you did this and whether this works for you. Um, and if this works for you, then fine, then you're done, right? Because you basically just do this for every row and just go for all the queries. Um, and of course, you have to add an if statement on each of the query. Basically, you you only want to process it if it's in, the, in you know, if you're in between those rows, for example, right? So straightforward things there, uh, relatively. It's not easy, but... If you understand the difference array, then you can understand it, right, in theory. So, okay, but what I did is actually similar to this, so you still have to have a good understanding of this. Um, so you have to have a good understanding of this, but the idea here is that now I extend it to two dimension in the same idea. And what I mean by that is that for each query, I process out the qu query, um, you know, for example, uh, maybe this one, it goes from row one to row two. So here, I, for each for a query, I go, okay, now I process it in, and then at the end of row two, I process it out. And I will show you what I mean by looking through my code, right? Um, and I think this is optimal. So here, this the, the, the suboptimal way, way of doing it is going to be n times q. Uh, n squared plus n times q. So this component, it's th um, which is why I think it's a little sketchy, it's going to be 10 to the 4th times 500, which is 5 million. Eh, getting tight on the Python side, but yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but what I did is going to be, well, we'll go over in a sec. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess I don't need this anymore. 
But basically, like I said, it's the same idea of processing, except for now you're doing two dimensions, right? And here for each, basically I go, okay, so for each query on row one, you know, this is the beginning of the row, we add in uh, what I call an event, like a event driven type thing. I add in a event that say, okay, add one to these columns or between these columns. And then at the end, uh, n add a negative one to these between the same columns on row two plus one, right? And then now I start with, a, as I said, the difference array. I, I add an extra element so that I can add a, so because to handle the plus one, so that you can kind of drop off at the end of the element kind of, uh, um, but yeah, but basically first for each, so now we go through the queries that um, either begin or end at this row um, and keeping in mind that I add a plus one here so that it's, so that the way that I do it is exclusive um, or inclusive exclusive um, or open bracket. Um, but the other way is going to be, um, yeah. That's basically it. And also the same reason why I have it here. So I'm consistent about that. So yeah, so now given D, so as I said, in the uh, when you come in, you add the difference. And when you come out, you subtract the difference. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then given this difference away, I set the current is equal to zero. And this is the algorithm that we talked about where we go scanning from left to right. We just sum up everything um, and then add it to the difference away. Uh, or the, 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 I forget what they call the, Thing. But basically, the result result in a way that pop off the last element because we don't have to. I guess I could have just chopped it off here, whatever, right? Um, and then we would add it to the answer, and that's pretty much it. As I said, instead of so th the other algorithm is going to be uh, this, and you could kind of see because for each row you have to do a all the queries, right? You have to loop for the queries. But here you can see that this is just n square um, plus q, right? Because each query will happen in aggregate in all the total times will happen twice. There's one event here and one event on the exit row. And then, you just, you know, here you just two operations and then we loop for each one once. So this is going to be all of n squared time plus Q space um, and just all of n squared space. I cannot type. Um, and of course, just to be clear, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, this is, I think, more optimal than the other one, but that's why it cost me an extra like three, four minutes because I was thinking about like how to do it in a clever way. But I actually like this problem. It's just that it, the way that I solved it anyway, it's kind of really hard for Q2, even though, yeah, I mean, it's it's doable with enough time, sure, but it's kind of hard for a Q2. Um, maybe, maybe the intention is the N times Q kind of way, which eh, maybe that's fine. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. So let me know what you think. Stay good. Oh, uh, well, let me know what you think and stay good. But you could watch me solve a live in contest next. And you could kind of see my struggle with um, uh, optimizing a little bit more. So yeah, anyway, boop. Okay. Let's be a little bit careful. Mm, Queries is ten to the four. Hmm. How do we do this? I'm thinking of something dumb. Oh, it's just end by end, huh? Five hundred times what's ten to the fourth? Ten thousand? That may be too big. Huh. I don't know this one off my head. You know, I feel like I should because it's Q2. But... Hmm. Hmm.
500 times 10 to the 4th is good enough. Right? That's 5 million, still a little bit. Oh, I don't know. This one's harder than it looks, but I don't even know how to do it. That does the same thing, right? Maybe that's why. Okay, let's do it. It's not quite what I want, but... Something like that. And then now, and this is all too inclusive, so. This guy is alright, I think, maybe. This is right. That one's hard. Um, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these problems and this problem and the explanation. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.